What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on another edition of Got Em Early. You already know what it is. You see the title. I just woke up. I needed to shoot this intro and get this out to you guys as soon as possible. So let's just go ahead and do it, man. We got them early today, and that is the Jordan 1. Don't stop, keep going. I got this mind trim. I had to make me keep flowing. Pull shots, keep pouring. It's no more vodka in my head. Got no release for it. I see a flip, flip. I make a flip, flip. I'm a hustler. Yeah, I just hit a lick. This that double shift. This that overtime. I'm on my job player. You know I was born to grind. It's for my people standing up until they back hurt. It's for my people standing up to get the cash, sir. My minimum wage. And all my cash clerks This I gotta do But yo, I need the bag first This system with me Way before my bachelors with me So guys, you can see We went to Soul Play They got their hands on The Jordan 1 Hyper Royal These are set to release next week Unfortunately, Chunky's downstairs Going crazy They're down People are cleaning right now We got the pool being built right now Let me turn this up a little bit, by the way Whole bunch of stuff going down right now in the crib. The pool should be done next week. So be expecting a lot of outdoor videos in the near future. But we have here the Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. A lot of you guys said you love this shoe more than the Jordan 4 UNC. In my opinion, I love the UNC 4 more, but this is a dope shoe. This shoe to me is pretty much very similar, if not the same exact shoe as the Turbo Blues that released, or was it Turbo Greens? I think it's Turbo Greens. Okay, yeah, the Turbo Greens. Now these released, I think, back in 2019? Or was it, my bad, 2020, wait, let me see. I feel like it wasn't 2020, was it? Yeah, it was 2019, February 15th, 2019. Pretty much the same exact shoe, but switched for a lighter blue. No, no, no rhyme intended. The same exact material that was used here was used also on that Nike swoosh. But instead they swapped it out and now have a suede Nike check, which feels very, very good in my opinion, which seems to be somewhat of like a neutral gray. This material is the same exact material that's on the Turbo Green. I mean, it feels the same. It damn near looks the same. This looks a little bit more blue, whereas the Turbo Green had a more green. It had like that Aztec green. It was a good shoe. I actually had it and I sold it though later on. The funny thing is, is that the hype for this is way, way, way more superior than that of the Turbo Green. When the Turbo Green dropped, it sold out, I believe, but it was not selling for that much. It wasn't, trust me, it wasn't crazy. It wasn't like an insane release, bro. Let's just leave it at that. But now those Turbo Greens are going for right now, you can sell it a size 13 for $900. You can sell a size eight and a half right now for, let me see, let me just see what's going on. These prices are insane. You can sell my size right now for $500. You can sell a nine for 530. A 13 is going for 475. Um, seven, size seven is going for 900, seven and a half, 700. You get the picture. The resale price point on these, or on those, are insane compared to the hype that it received back in 2019. The ones have just been getting crazier and crazier. But let's go ahead and continue on with the show. I'm gonna catch you guys when we get back. We're gonna have some goodies in our hands as well. Some clothing for you guys and girls to check out. So let's get it. So we got some new lifted anchors in the building, man. Definitely gonna be picking some of this up. One in particular that I really like is this one. I like this one a lot, but I ain't gonna cap. Like, it kind of makes me feel like it's a little outdated. And what I mean by that is like that all over print, too much print. That was like a real big popping thing in the 2017 and 16 and all that. But I definitely gonna probably pick something up. Maybe one of this tie dye or something like that. I like this a lot. It's kind of like a like a, a Disneyland type of vibe. So I'll probably pick this up in the tie dye, and I'll pick this one up right here as well, just to see how. I don't know. It's just kind of old schooly. I like this one too. Though. We got this new brand in called uh, what's this called? Passe de Mer or De Mar? Pa I like this one a lot. This is for Paris. Sixty bucks. Couple new tees they got in. I'm liking as well. I'm probably gonna check out. So they got a short hem on there. It's like really boxy. I like this one a little more particular though. And some extra large in the building. They got this extra large. It's kind of kind of hot right now. I like Literally. I like this. Check that out as well.
All right, guys, so we're back, man. We got some goodies as well, some clothing from some new spots, some new, some new brands out there. What I will say about this also, while you guys were checking out the store and what we picked up, I was looking at the price point. These are reselling pretty much for the same price as the Turbo Greens. The Turbo Greens were going for 500. These are reselling right now for about 500 as well. So they're instant. These things are going crazy now before they even, you know, sometimes and majority of the time, shoes release and then go up in price. And some are just that price already out the get go. If these are already 500 now, I can only expect what they will become later on in the year. Cause you check out like Travis Scott's, they would go for like a thousand, 2000 or 1500. I remember when a Travis Scott was 1500. I thought that was insane. A Travis Scott now is, what is it? Let's just look. Travis Scott now is 1700. You know what I'm saying? I remember when it was like 1200, my bad. I'm, I'm not gonna cap. It. I remember when it was like 1200, so it went up about $500. And I remember when the Jordan 6 Travis Scott was going for 600. I could have got it for six. It's going for seven. So it hasn't moved up too much. This is at five. I'm not here to entice or I don't like to talk about this on a resale. Like, yo, get this to resell. I'm talking on this aspect of if it's already that price now, you can see where the demand is. If it's 500 now, you know the demand is crazy and you know it's a big, big possibility that the price is going to go up. It is what it is. It's Jordan 1 and we know how those usually move. But I'll leave up my full on thoughts and opinions, the details, the quality and all that in the actual review that will be coming very soon later on next week. Quality's good though in my opinion. Um, I like the shoe. I will, <sighs> how long I will keep it, I honestly don't know because the color itself, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. As far as clothing, use the code TONYD2WILD and get 10% off over at Soul Play. I will leave a link down below in the description to everything you see. So that way you grab it as well. And a lot of you guys be picking up stuff. This hat also will be available pretty soon on Soul Play, so stay tuned on that. And uh, keep, keep your eyes peeled. I'm, I'm actually gonna post an IG story of the brand where you can actually cop this hat now. Or you should be able to, at least you can know about the brand and then when the hat drops, you can know. We have here, it says Ignore Land, the other side of heaven. This is Lifted Anchors. I haven't really been copping any Lifted Anchors recently, honestly, but I like this tee. I love the tie-dye effect. I got the pull up, you know, downstairs. Springtime is in the full effect, so it's just time for me to. I, I, I feel I feel I feel a tie dye vibes. You feel me? You got something in from extra large, nice sweater. Got a little bit like a little bubble print. The back extra large. Now you guys are asking, and I already told you it's springtime, so sometimes it's chilly, sometimes it's not, especially at nighttime. But a lot of times I get these sweaters because I'm a guy, believe it or not, with me, I can rock this in in the spring, and it keeps me even though it might be hot. It keeps me cool, believe it or not. Oversized clothing like this will keep your body cool as well, not just keep you hot. Not being funny when I say this, but like, you know, a lot of people in Saudi Arabia, that's why they have like all that, they, they rock. That stuff keeps them cool rather than hot. Depends on how you wear it, but that stuff, it's, it's a little hot, but I'm, I, 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 I'm gonna make it work. I still wear hoodies anyway. Then we got another item, I think this is from, where's this from that? So this is a new brand that they told me to check out and I copped two shirts from them. This is. Passe Pas de Mer, it's Italian. You have this embroidery on the front, safety pin, safety pin. good quality print, good quality uh, you know, sewing right there in the front. Some new brands, different brands. Just something a little bit out of the ordinary because I've been you know, copping that Chinatown and all that stuff over and over. I like to kind of spread things out. We also got another shirt from them that I actually, I like this one a little bit more. This one's 60 bucks from Balloons Crying. I ain't gonna cap to you, man. I don't know what the hell this shirt's saying. This shirt could be saying I like, to lick uh, booty holes on Saturday and Sunday, and I'm enjoying it. But I don't know. I just like the I just like the, the, the art behind it, man. And then we actually picked up another lifted anchor T-shirt, which was kind of like a peace tee, reminiscent of the 1970s, or you know what I'm saying, 1977 Revo Revolution Love. I love that piece on there on the front and the back. It's pretty much the same shirt, but on the back it's like old school. So 1971, no, no print. Love. Okay, Revolution Love, Revolution Drugs. Whoa. Oh, we gotta watch that TJ around certain people. But these are some of the items I picked up. Huge shout out to Soul Play. Hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Jordan 1 Hyper Royal coming soon, and I got another banger dropping for you guys over the weekend. So stay tuned, man. I love y'all. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Forgive me for wearing, I'm, I saw it wrinkled up. I got up and I was like, I need to shoot this ASAP. So this was shot after the video in the store. So. Hope you guys enjoy, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. It's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out.